So what do you get? All right, so we're out here getting the boat set up for the first legs, I guess. I have my GoPro set up here. That's gonna be really fun to get some good footage. I'm gonna be putting a speed coach so I know how fast I'm going. I got my flashlight, got my GPS unit, which is mandatory. We've got Nori, my mascot for this race. Narwhal, if you can't tell. Uh, then here we have the 15 liter Hydrolock bag from NRS. I'm gonna be putting uh, bladders in there with my hoses coming out. So that'll be that. So everything fits perfectly and it's all matching. And I did not mean to do that. <laughs> We're ready. Hi, how are you feeling? Um, let's go that way, cause I gotta pee. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. You got 43 minutes <laughs> until the start of a 650 mile race. I'm excited, I'm super excited. I'm trying not to get nervous because I always get nervous at the beginning of races, but I have to remember I've got 650 miles ahead of me and it's not like a 10 mile sprint, so. <laughs> So at the last portage, I had dumped some dark chocolate covered espresso beans into Jen's hand, but too many dumped out. So she handed them back to me. And since they were kind of moist at that point, I just threw all of them in my mouth. For the record, my eyes feel like they're gonna explode out of my head and my heart is having palpitations. I hope she's having a better time than I am right now. All right, we are here heading towards the second portage of the Alabama 650. Right now, we are in the Ball Play Creek. Definitely looks like somewhere I might see an alligator. Uh, challenge is here, super flat. Like I'm talking flat as a piece of paper. Um, another challenge, I guess, is dodging these sticks that are attached two giant logs because I do not have a kick up rudder. Um, and I definitely don't want to damage my boat in this section because I'm not gonna see April for another 79 miles. So while I was in the Academy Sports store trying to find some lithium batteries and some other last minute items, um, Jen actually called me on the phone. She had run into a bunch of logs. She thought she had made her own turn because it was so shallow. Turns out she was right on track, everything was fine. Um, I'm here now at a little boat ramp, kind of fishing spot on the side of the river to do a little bit of a gear drop, switch out her headphones, um, anything else we can think of. I got her some sandwiches and she said she liked uh, ice pops, so I got her an ice pop. <laughs> All right, another video. So we are officially 23 miles from the first portage at Weiss Lake. Um, I have about, gosh, 50, about 60 miles left to go in which I have, I think a 30 or 45 minute downtime. And I'm definitely gonna take that time to sleep. This is a lot harder than uh, I thought it would be. Do you guys ever wanna paddle a flat river race, like literally flat, not moving? Um, come paddle the Alabama 650. Feels like I'm paddling in a pool, not moving. But, as they say in Alabama, roll tide. There she comes around the corner. She's doing great. And I got some snacks and stuff. All right, there she goes. She's gonna hit that current. It's gonna be awesome. She took her melted popsicle. Straighten out! We're seven hours and 10 minutes past the second portage. And we're going into the first night 
It's roughly around 7 o'clock-ish. Yeah, well, I have been paddling for 41 miles past that point, so, um, yeah. This is just a little clip of how the first night is going. I'm only halfway there, so I've been paddling for 7 hours and 10 minutes, and I'm only halfway there, so um, that kind of gives you an idea of about what time I'm going to show up at the next portage, roughly around 1, 2 in the morning, if I can keep this cadence. So let's see how that goes. All right, it is eight minutes till one in the morning, and Jen is that, you can't see my finger right there. Jen is that little sparkly light right there. How you feeling? <laughs> I feel good from my belly button up. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else, not so good. All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're crushing it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> So I'm enjoying a beautiful sunrise um, covered in a ton of mosquito repellent because Jen dropped that at the last portage and they are coming out now so this is a perfect time to get it to her. Bought her a new cell phone charger, got her watch charged, got the speed coach charged, got some cheap hot gas station coffee, fresh water, um, and a ton of breakfast. Yay! I got the boat disassembled, washed out, drying out, ready to load into the van. Last time we loaded it wet because um, it was nighttime. Now we have some good sun to dry things out. Jen said she wanted to sleep for about 20 minutes. I'm refilling the cooler, refilling the bags. She's sleeping in there. So a lot of the other teams took a pretty long rest at this portage. So. We're gonna have to decide if, because you know, it's nice and daylight out, if Jen's gonna push through a little and take a shorter rest and keep paddling or uh, take a longer nap. There's a lot of room to gain, I suppose, but there's also a lot to lose if you, if you overstretch yourself. What do Sherpers do? We screw tiny little screws from the Dollar General back into sunglasses so our racing team can keep racing without the sun in their eyes. Jamming to 90s rock in the middle of the woods in humid Alabama. Okay. So this is the lit up portage in the woods. Jen, I can see her little green light. She's about a mile away from this portage. She's going off of 39 hours, um, pretty much no sleep. And she's at mile 183. How are you feeling? <laughs> oh my God, I feel like Jeff. Wait, hold on. This is gonna, wait, where's the? <laughs> yes, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, how do you feel? I don't even know how I'm standing right now. You're actually floating. <laughs> you're, like, you're in the sky, you're levitating. April brought me to this sketchy ass gazebo that has scorpions. Dude, 
crocodile poop. This is seriously the hardest race in the whole entire world. The whole entire world. <laughs> Pray. All right. We're not even halfway done. You ready to get back on the water? Right. No. <laughs> I'm just going to take a nap. I like it. woke up for my first sleep. I think I slept for like maybe five and a half hours. It's actually closer to four and a half. Oh, really? Yeah, you did, but you woke up naturally. Oh my gosh, yeah, wow. (laughs) That was the most amazing sleep I've ever had. Um, I'm still a little groggy, but I'm going to get back on the water. It's just a game of survival at this point, (laughs) so we'll see what happens. So first, what happened yesterday with the little girls? Oh my gosh, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> it's really cool on this whole C- Alabama Scenic River Trail. You'll be passing by and some random strangers will just come up to you and be like, way to go, Jennifer. And I had these two little girls come by and I just lost it. Like I started bawling. I think it just reminded me of my son, but um, just two cute little girls really excited, especially about the color of my boat and my narwhal. <laughs> so yeah, it's really motivational when you're just losing it and you just see someone in the distance with a flashlight at night yelling your name and you're like wow like people are actually um out there supporting you and i'm crying again (laughs) i've got a pretty bad injury um i think it's some sort of tendonitis but my wrist has flared up pretty good i don't know if you guys can see it um and i need my wrist to paddle so um this is this is the most debilitating injury I have right now. A racer comes in <laughs> and destroys the area. This is how important it is to have an amazing support crew that doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> She's videoing me while I'm videoing her. I don't even know what is going on over here. Yeah, this is my life right now. Thank you, April. <laughs> <laughs> I could not do it without you. <laughs> so how you feeling other than dog poop? Horrible. Okay. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> Congratulations on finishing 200 miles. I finished 200? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's over 200 now. good other than I took a wrong turn around an island and ended up um, in a really narrow section of the river got hung up on a log see I hear rapids hear them. and I don't like the sound of rapids supposed to go down the other way. I have no clue because I don't have my GPS. Dude, you made it and it's before dark. 
Could you imagine have done it? No, I would have sat on a rock and <laughs> just died. Like, I literally hit the dock right as the rain started falling. That is so lucky. Oh my god, guys, I wish you could see this. <laughs> and now she has to run. I didn't record any of that. No. Oh <laughs> we just sprinted up that hill, but I gotta go get the boat strapped Dude, down. Just paddle out for making it. You this made it. Rad. This is point one down. Woo! Oh my God. <laughs> Woo! Okay.